Hello everybody, it's Taryn from Naturally Me Media. We have another Frequently Asked Questions video today and it is from our reader, Anjanette. She's on my email list so you can sign up below. It's a free email course that you get for signing up for my email list. Um, it goes over seven days worth of natural hair care basics, really gets you on a really good track or restart you on a good track if you have, if you're already been natural for a while. Uh, so I definitely encourage you to do that. And I stay in contact with my email subscribers pretty regularly. So if you miss a video, if you miss something on the blog, you can just get more information on our email list. So let's read what Anjanette said, a really pretty name by the way. She wrote me last month and she said, the biggest challenge I'm facing today is split knots, breakage, dry scalp, dandruff. She's been natural for over 10 years and still has bra length hair. She's not retaining any length. First of all, I just wanna say thank you for writing in. And secondly, you got a bra strap length there. That's really, really good. Um, so I'm not sure if you're looking to go waist length or not, but um, definitely uh, doing some of the tips I'm about to say will help you get there. So I'm going to really hone in more on the um, knots because I feel like that's a big, um, a big thing that I kind of want to devote one video to and then we'll kind of tackle the other ones in other videos because a lot of these emails I get are um, pretty much people having the same type of issue. So I'm going to deal with the breakage in another video and I already have one about dry scalp and dandruff. So I will put that up here um, so that way you can click on that and check that one out. So um, about knots, one way we're going to talk about how to prevent them and then how to get them out. So it's five different ways that um, I've pretty much researched and have come up with that will help with knots. Um, first, you want to make sure you're washing your hair in sections. And a lot of times we see the commercials and the girl's going like this and she's doing all like that. Yeah, that's not the right way you want to wash your hair. Um, you want to wash it in sections and I have a wash um, video that I pretty much demonstrate this in. I also put that up there. But um, you want to split your hair in four sections or eight, whichever is good for you. Um, especially if you have a longer length hair, maybe I will say like five inches above. Just split it, put it in four ponytails or four braids and you want to wash in each section and make sure you're massaging your scalp and then pulling it through you don't want to you know do a whole lot of this because that causes your hair to, to tangle up so that's number one um, number two you want to make sure you're detangling properly so uh, my last frequently asked questions video which again I'll put up here um, if you haven't seen it you want to make sure either you're going to detangle before your hair or you're going to detangle while your hair is wet um, if you detangle before um, I recommend Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch. Love it. Um, and I go in more detail in the video, in my last video. Um, so you want to make sure you're detangling properly. And that is starting from the ends and working your way up. Um, definitely do not detangle your hair dry. And don't skip the detangling um, step because that's very, very important. Number three. You want to make sure you get a trim every four to eight weeks. Um, getting a trim is really important. I think it's really one of the things as, as naturals, we don't really do it because we think, oh, we're natural. That was something I did when I had a relaxer, but that was still good hair health. Um, like right now I need a trim. See how they're kind of, my ends are kind of like janky looking. I just flat iron my hair. So that's always a good way to kind of tell. Um, but I did experience single strand knots a lot more when I first went natural. Um, I don't know if that was because I really didn't know what I was doing or um, if it was just kind of like the the relaxed hair and the perm hair kept tangling. I'm not sure, but I definitely know seeing those little fairy knots tied and it's everywhere. It's just really a hassle. Um, so yeah, so you wanna make sure you're detangling properly um, and then getting a trim. So I would recommend going to a salon to get a trim. Um, just because you want to make sure it's getting done right and you're not cutting where you get in the back, your hair is up here and in the front is down here. <laughs> so that leads us into number four. You want to be, uh, have less manipulation as possible. A lot of times, a lot of manipulation can cause knots and breakage and split ends too. So if you're combing your hair with a fine tooth comb versus using a wide tooth, which was what you should use. I try to only use a rat tail comb when I'm either flat ironing or to kind of part, um, 
So yeah, don't use a rat tail or fine tooth comb. Try to always use wide tooth. And also when you're detangling a wide tooth as well. Um, but then also getting more into protective styles because if your hair is protected, and this will also help with your lift retention, um, Anjanette, that you mentioned, um, doing more protective styles, it cuts down your manipulation, it cuts down on your chances of breakage, which cuts down on your hair not growing. Um, so, you know, more braids or not tight around edges, but just nice, um, you know, braids or um, sewing weeds that's done properly or things like that will, um, be low manipulation buns. I've been bunning a lot lately. Um, just stuff where your hands and your combs and your brushes are not constantly in your hair all the time. Um, so less manipulation is possible. If you could kind of do a style that could last you at least five days, like a tw like do two shirt twists for three days, take them out for the next three days and you have a twist out, those type of things to make sure you're just not manipulating your hair so, so much. Um, and that's also kind of saying like, Try to say no to wash and goes. I know it's the summertime and people are like, oh yeah, I just want to wet and go. But if your hair is like over like three or four inches, those tangles are going to be way too real. That's why I really don't wear wash and goes like that because the detangling time like almost doubles when I do. And I, ain't nobody got time for that. So um, yeah, I would just say try to say no to wash and goes, especially if not some breakage is what you're experiencing right now. Just hold off on that for a while. Um, try to do more stretch styles, like twist outs and braid outs, because when your hair is stretched, so as you can see, it's hot. So my little blowouts are already, you know, reverting. So this, I mean, sorry, my flat iron, it looks starting to look like a blow again, right? So it's a lot less easier for your hair to tangle when it's stretched or when it's straight. So you want to make sure, um, you know, like a bantu knot or out or just a braid out or something like that where your ends are more stretched versus curled on itself like with the wash and go. And then number five, you want to make sure you keep your hair, your ends moisturized. So you want to make sure you seal them with the oil, um, like a coconut oil or butter if you're more into butter, shea butter, mango butter, things like that. Um, and then also just make sure you're deep conditioned. And when you're deep conditioned, I know a lot of times we like to keep the deep condition up here, but just make sure you give some love to the ends when you deep condition as well. Let it sit there on there. Some people do the baggy method, um, which I have a new article up boop, boop, about the baggy method on the website, which will help you on Jeanette with your ends, whether it's breakage or split ends or not. So yeah, so those are the five good things I got for you guys. I hope that helped. Um, knots can definitely be a pain in the butt, I know, from first-hand experience. So yeah, so you want to make sure you get those trims, you wash them properly, make sure you're detangling at all times, trim every four to eight weeks, and low manipulation. Use some protective styles or stretched hairstyles. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Hope this answered your question. If you were interested in this, thank you so much again, Anjanette, for inspiring those to might be scared to ask, ask a question that got their question answered. Um, and then if you want to see your question on the next video, you can either leave a comment below, make it super simple, or you can feel free to go to our ask.fm backslash naturally me media. And you can always hit me on email, sign up for our email list below. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.